Hello and welcome to Thrivecast. This is a season two of Thrivecast. I'm super excited that we get to kick off the show. Welcome for everyone tuning in. I cannot wait to see who is joining today. No matter where you're popping in from, no matter what country you're popping in, in, in coming in from, welcome to our show today. This is Thrivecast for Andrews University. My name is Dr. Dominique Gemelt, and I am the wellness director for Andrews University. If you're a student at Andrews, stay tuned. This program will be able to give you co-curricular credit. So make sure you stay tuned. We are going to um, post the link for co-curricular credit at the end. So stay in here. Feel free to invite people because today you don't want to miss. I have a very exciting guest on the show today and we're going to kick off the season of Thrivecast with our special guest that's going to share his incredible story, his incredible talents and skills, and you will be motivated and inspired to really move into 2021 with a different mindset. So I'm super excited to see you all. Why don't you put in the chat um, where you are tuning in from? What country are you joining us from today? So put it in there. I would love to see what country are you coming in here from? Let me see it. Put it in the chat. Are you from the United States? Where are you from? Let me see where you're at. And then I'm about to have our guests coming on the show. So welcome, welcome. Yes, let me see what country you're from. And as you're typing that, I am going to get our guest on the show. So I see Kenya, I see China, Michigan. This is fantastic, wonderful. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, I'm going to get our guest on the show and introduce him to you as he's with me. So let me do that real quick. Hop in just any second. So it's good to see you, America is in the house, United States. It's great to see you guys. Brilliant. Hello, you made it. What's up? Hello, <laughs> Dominique. What's up, Sebastian? Welcome to our show for Thrivecast. I was just announcing you to everyone, and I'm just seeing where people are joining us from, and you may have seen it, but we've got Kenya, we've got South America, we've got America, we've got people from all over the world that are here. So I want to welcome you to our show so everyone knows this is the one and only Sebastian Leveringhaus from Germany. Welcome, Sebastian. So thank you, Dominique, for being here today on, on this uh, session. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sure that we will have a lot of fun today and uh, share some incredible stories or some, yeah, and we will have some fun here. Absolutely, I cannot wait. I had, I'm so honored that you took time out of your incredibly busy schedule, which I know goes around the clock because you're involved in so many things. And so thank you for taking the time to share your story, your background out of your busy day to all these wonderful people here. And so maybe just to start with, maybe just tell our viewers, who are you? Who are you? Just give us a short summary. Um, hi to all the people, nearly 100 people from all, the, all over the world. It's so amazing that you are here. I am tuning in from Germany, from southern Germany. You may know Frankfurt. I'm actually here. My name is Sebastian. I'm 30 years old. I'm, I live in Germany my whole life. And um, I don't have this normal um, career like some people have. Go to school, study, go to work. And... Um, my career was a bit different, um, but the thing is that I think if, if some things happen in your life and uh, your way is not, that, not the straight way, it's like a different way, you have so many learnings that, that bring you further to your goal. And I think that's one of the things we will talk today. And today, I'm 30 years old. I, I'm running my own company here in Germany. And uh, I do the thing that I ever wanted to do, to work with people, to help people to achieve their goals. And the, the, the best thing in my life, you know, I, I always wanted to travel the world. And uh, today I got the opportunity to travel the world. That's brilliant. And thank you for giving that little intro. And we're going to go much more into detail in just a minute. So you have the cup. I don't have a cup. We should have a cup because that's what you do, right? In life. <laughs> I don't. 
cheers with the water. I really quickly, I want to welcome everyone who's just tuning in. This is Thrivecast. We're kicking off season two of our show this semester. And someone is just asking, is there co-curricular credit if you are a student at Andrews University? And the answer is yes. If you are a student, you can earn co-curricular credit for joining our live discussion today and for being here at the very end. My assistant will be posting the link in the chat and on the account so you can log in and get your credit for being a part of the show. So <laughs> Sebastian, somebody says, you still look like 20. <laughs> there you go. You, you kept I give well. My best. I give my best. A lot of sport <laughs> and, and good German food. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Exactly. So, so, so really, really, Sebastian, um, it is a tradition on my show before we go into any details of why we're here today, which is really this big picture of what it means to thrive in life. But before I do that, I have three questions that I ask all the guests that have been on the show. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, good. Very important questions. Number one, what is your favorite fruit? And why? My favorite fruit is a banana because I love bananas. <laughs> it's so easy to eat. And uh, I, I can eat a banana in the different types. You, hot with the chocolate. Uh, you can just take it with you. It's easy. So my favorite fruit is a banana. You know, I love it because I love how you said that you can combine it with all these other things in there. And no one has said banana, by the way. That was the first time. So winner on that. So first lesson of today's show, eat bananas. Bananas are good for you. So if you're not eating your fruit, this is something you can easily add. And you're right, you can put it in your bag and easily eat it. Okay, good. Number two, describe your current mood using weather. Sunshine. <laughs> good. Just sunshine. Just sunshine. Because especially in these times, we are actually it's important uh, to be the sunshine for all the other people. They struggle in these times. And if you have the energy to, to be the sunshine, it's important. And uh, uh, like uh, always, if I talk to you, it's like, it's the same. It's like sunshine and so important uh, to, have, uh, to have some people um, yeah, who are always positive. You know, I love, I love that analogy and it's, it's the truth. So even if you don't see the sun, you can create sunshine in people's lives. So I love that. Thank you for that. And welcome Brazil. I see a lot of people from Brazil are popping in. Welcome Brazil. Okay, question number three, hard question. What are you not good at? <laughs> Is there anything? I'm not good in keeping things. I don't know if that's right in English. I, this week I lost my AirPods, I think for the 10th time in the last <laughs> weeks. I don't know where they are. I have to buy a new one. I always lose things, but I don't know why. So the, I'm not good in keeping things. Okay, so at least you're aware of it and it might be pretty pricey to keep losing your AirPods. It's good for the, for the economy. <laughs> it infuses something in the economy. That's great. Welcome, Switzerland. Welcome, Germany. I see more people popping in. Thanks for being here. Stay with us. We're about to dive in to some big subjects. And our goal today is, as we start season two of Thrivecast, is to find a different way to move into 2020, to find a way to not be dependent on our circumstances, but to actually use the powers we have within our own self, within our mindset to make a difference and to thrive despite what might be going on. And for that, I'm really excited that we have Sebastian Liveringhouse with us on the show today from Germany. So if you're just tuning in, stay tuned. We are about to get started. So Sebastian, I keep saying the word thrive, right? So I, I say this is thrive cast. This is about thriving. And it's interesting because in German, we don't have an exact translation for that word. It's more of a concept, really. Um, but when you hear that word thrive in general, um, what comes to mind for you just in general, the word? Um, uh, you're right in German. We don't have the exact translation or the, the, the sense for the word. But what comes in mind for me is passion. Mm. It's pure passion if, if you thrive if you live your full passion you're passionate about something and 
to thrive always in my life was to uh, to to live my passion um, in everything I do. I love that. Actually, it is so simple. I love how you say this is really about passion. And, and we actually had, very interestingly, a wonderful interview with Ty Gibson last um, semester about this idea of that we are created to dream. And we talked about passion, but I love how you put it in the sentence with thriving. And, you know, a good question we could ask everybody while you say this, or a question I have, do you all know what your passion really is? Because I think that's something that people struggle with, right? Um, to find out what your passion is. So think about it as we keep talking, what is your passion in life? So Sebastian, you have an incredible story. Um, you have an incredible story because you have really um, experienced some extraordinary things in your life on a personal level, as well as on a business level. And so I would love for you to just share a little bit of your story and feel free to share whatever you feel is relevant. I think I have never shared this part of my story ever on social media. Really? I think, no, I think I never shared the whole story on social media because the most time I, I'm always, I live on social media, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, now Clubhouse, but um, I always start with the age of 18, what happened after the mm. age of 18, but um, what was important for me um, started before. So, okay. um, the thing is that I was not the best, um, the best student at school. I was not, I, I was not the best in school. And uh, when I was 12 years old, I, I was a professional swimmer, uh, did a lot of sport, and uh, I started also playing online games like World of Warcraft, maybe some of you know. And I became one of the best uh, World of Warcraft players here in Germany. Crazy. Yeah, it was crazy, and I earned some money with that. And that's not was not common 15 years ago right. uh, to earn money with uh, with gaming. And the thing is that to that time, when I was 14 years old, you know, I was a Boy Scout. We we I come from a Christian family, so and we we lived our belief in the in our daily doing. And then my brother beca became cancer when he was 12, I was 14. Wow. And that was really hard for me because um, I spent a lot of time um, in the hospital with my brother. And that was hard for me. You know, mm. I was the sporty guy, tall, good looking guy, whatever. And, um, and you have been there and there have been 20 to 40 children between six and 18 mm. with cancer. And half of these children did not make it. Uh. Um, and that was really hard as a young, young adult when I was four, 15, 16, 17. And to that time, it also affected my, my school, my, my school things. So I became much, I don't know, it, it, I did not become better at school. But what was the thing that that was important in this situation my parents always supported me to live my passion they did not say you have to do that you have to do that you have to do that and they always said do whatever you want if it makes you happy mm. and that was so amazing i started playing online games and they they were not happy about that but they let me play because mm. they saw i'm so passionate about mm. um, about this i um, we were always camping. I love the camper lifestyle today. I have my own caravan, my uh, um, van, so I love it. And and so I always tried things that made me happy. I did not, uh, I did not, I don't want to do things to make other people happy. And uh, these, I think, when we talk about to thrive, thriving, um, it's, all these things, all these situations helped me to become the person I am today because I had so many learnings. Yeah. I tried so many things and today I know what I don't want to do because of the things I made before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, then I moved out. Um, I left my parents' house when I was 19 years old 
and lived in my own apartment, earned my own money. Um, I, w I did um, like, I don't know, as an, I worked as an industrial clerk. Okay. That's the right word. And then I became with the 22, one of the youngest um, hotel directors here in Southern Germany with 22, with the hotel. How, how did you, I mean, I was, 60 employees. I was gonna say, how did you do that? How did you become, I mean, I, I have other questions too, but how did, how did that happen? Mm, it happened because, you know, I did not, I did not study something in, uh, in the hotel industry, but I worked every weekend every evening i worked in different hotels restaurants and um, to become better and i loved that i love to work with the people to be mm. to be the 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 host for the evening for yeah. their wedding whatever and the people saw my passion mm. and uh, one he was the owner of the hotel and he said to me sebastian you are so passionate about this thing you work 30 hours without making a break. I yeah. never saw somebody in this young age doing that. I want you to be part of my company. And wow. um, we, had, we were two, like one woman, she was responsible for the hotel and I was responsible for the whole employees, for the events, for the, um, yeah, a lot of things. <laughs> I mean, it, this is incredible. I, I just want to take a quick stop. I mean, you already shared a lot of things and my, my mind keeps getting stuck at your story about how at the age of 14, your brother, who was 12, was diagnosed with cancer. And I, you know, I don't know whoever's watching has something they can relate to in that or experiencing something in your childhood that is really traumatic, something that is not, that is very out of the ordinary and it might be different things for different people. But what in that moment when that happened and you said you would be in the hospital and you see other kids and how, what did that do with you? How did that, how did that change you? Mm. I, I, I started struggling um, with my belief, with the, the things happened in my environment, you know, to that time, the most people I knew, um, they were partying and having fun and whatever. And I saw in the hospital, all these children, they, they had no chance to make party or to go out, to go on holidays. And you appre I started appreciating more i started like every to 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 enjoy every day to its fullest ah, to, to, okay. to really not to say i do it later i do it later no to live in the moment mm. not in the future and also not to live in the past just to live in the moment and that's one of the yeah i i think one of the major things that that happened to me to also become become more ra rational mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about things and um, but I had a I had one thing that was hard for me I started struggling with my belief with yeah with my way with God with Jesus mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. hard for me because if you see people dying yeah you always yeah. ask why yeah why them yeah yeah yeah, but it's incredible. I mean, even being able, what you just said, to even process that, because as, as a child, when you see something happening, you can only process it with the resources you have at the time, wherever you are in your development, and you start taking everything in. And like you say, that it challenged your faith is something I think very um, understandable that I think many people can relate to as well. To Like you say, you ask why, especially if you see a whole bunch of children that are, you know, suffering from disease and are suffering from something that just seems out of the ordinary. They're not 80 or 90, but they're kids, you know, and, uh, and to see it in your own brother on top of that. And, and I think it is phenomenal. I just want to capture that for everybody, what you said, how it taught you to live to the fullest in the moment. I really believe working with so many people too uh, in their transformation journeys, I think this is one of the biggest challenges people have is to live in the moment. Most people are, like you say, stuck living in the past in some way, shape or form and are always trying to resolve 
things that you can't resolve anymore because it's done, or they're obsessed with the future. So you plan your presence. You're just thinking about the future. So when are you living? You're never living. You're just yeah. somewhere in between. And this living life to the fullest, um, to me, is also a great concept talking about thriving and living in the moment. Absolutely. In your words, you, 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 yeah, you found, you found the right words, what I wanted to say. <laughs> I just summarized because to me, that was an important point. I mean, if you think about at your age and what you drew out of that and how that has informed the way you live your life, I think is pretty phenomenal. And um, you said that it also caused... I have to add one thing in, yeah, this, go ahead. in this particular point. Um, one thing was different than today to that time. And I'm very happy that it was. And to that time, I Instagram did not exist. Mm -hmm. Facebook were just a baby. I'm so happy that to that time we did not had the chance to go on whatever like Instagram, Facebook. Wow. We had different social platforms, but not that huge. And I think today, um, for for young people today in the same age, maybe with the same problems, they are. It's more important for them to live in the moment, to live in the reality, to enjoy the real life uh, not and also not to live in this online world in this uh, digital world yeah yeah absolutely that does make a big difference and and i you know you said earlier too that that whole thing challenged your faith and it challenged what you believed and you mentioned you grew up in a christian home where certain you know it was lived and what so tell us just a couple of sentences about that so so what what happened with your faith journey it started with the question why mm. why them why not me why are uh, why are why is this happening to these young people and um, that what started with that question and uh, the thing is that um, and here comes the good thing today on social media that um, one major things uh, what I did not have one thing in my life community yeah I was alone with the, my, my father worked my mom was in, was in the hospital I had some friends but I did not have the community like yeah. doing a video call to somebody talking about things just maybe going on a phone call yeah. and um, especially here in Germany and maybe if you are also in the same situation like me, um, I grew up in a very small town. Mm. Uh, here in this, it's a very small town and uh, the, the people are different here and it's not this big Christian area here mm. around me. So um, I had not this community. Yeah. And that was hard for me because I was alone with my questions. Mm. I asked God, why are you doing that? Yeah. And um, I became, I, I started to feel alone. Before mm. that, it was clear for me to go my way with Jesus. Mm. That I, I, I said, I'm never alone. But to that time, for the first time, I started to struggle with that because I felt alone. Yeah. Mm. And uh, it took years, years um, uh, with these thoughts and these these challenging years, and um, it became better. And that was a very crazy moment, and I'm so happy for that. Um, it I think it took around nearly ten years. This, That's crazy. It is a long time. Journey. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This journey, yeah. because. Um, yeah, I felt alone and I said, it's, it's your fault. Mm. I looked for somebody to, to, to say, hey, it's your fault. And for me, it was God. Yeah. And my brother is alive to all the people in here. And I'm so happy for that. He has an That's amazing, amazing. Um, a girlfriend. The thing is that uh, four years ago, I was on YouTube. 
I found a woman, her name is Stefania. And uh, I looked on her YouTube for different videos. And then I found one video. It was a Hillsong music video. Okay. And I got, I get goosebumps again. I, I hear the music and I started like jumping into this world of these modern church communities. And it started, yeah, I started a new life four years ago. I mean, think about it. That is so crazy. And I love, I love that story though, because, you know, it shows you how God can use the most incredible small things to make a huge difference in someone's life. And you never know who can be used as a tool or a vehicle to do that. And you're just looking, you're looking at this profile and you hear a song and it did something. And that's incredible. Can you tell, do you remember the song, what it was? Um, um, horizon, uh, no, it was Horizon. I don't know, I don't know. I, it, it was a. Uh, it was not one song. It was a whole uh, ah, celebration. Okay. So, okay. Uh, but it started with a song. So. Okay. Okay. That's amazing, and I love. Denard just wrote, "Music is a language we can all speak," and this is true. I think yeah. so much can be reached and touched through music, and that's just um, it's an it's an incredible thing. So I'm happy to hear that your brother is well. And I'm happy to hear that you had a long journey, but that you found your peace, you know, as part of this journey. And, and uh, I think a key element on that is, is, is to, to ask those questions for yourself. I think that's totally essential. Many people watching here, I think, will have probably a similar background. Many people here watching, I think, have grown up in a Christian setting and, and, and with a set of beliefs. But I think it's essential if you want to thrive in your life that you do need to ask questions for yourself, that you do need to understand where do you stand for yourself so that you can go through those processes, don't you think? Of course, it's important to ask. And it's important to, uh, like you said, to go through the process. And it, it hurts. Mm -hmm. It really hurts. But in the end, um, it will be good. And that's the big thing. And if you really want to thrive, not only just a little bit, if you really want to live your full potential, if you really want to do that, what, what you are passionate about, you have to do sacrifices. Mm -hmm. You have to go through a lot of things to, to reach the goal you want to be. Mm -hmm. and, but it's worth. And today, I know again that I'm not alone. I'm mm -hmm. back on my way with Jesus and on, a, on another level. I think mm -hmm. 10 years ago, I, I was, if, if, if you scale from one to 10, I was on a three on the, this level. Today, I think I'm, one, I'm on a seven um, because also my, like in my, in, in, in my, in, in my daily business, uh, in my daily business, I think actually it, some situations 10 years ago, I, I, um, I was different in these situations. And today, if I have the same situation, I think completely different and on another base. And also, um, if, you, if I do my study, um, if, if you read something, it's different. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I loved all that you said, and I'm sure Denard is capturing some of that because there were some key points in there to really highlight exactly how you say that thri how thriving is so important. And, and really today, Sebastian, you are one of the top six most successful businessmen, entrepreneurs in your particular business in the German speaking region. You are also involved internationally and it is incredible to see how you have used your story. And like you said earlier, schooling was always a challenge, but you started to understand that setting goals take a lot of sacrifice, what you just said, and if you follow your passion. And, and tell, us, tell us what you do now and why you are thriving and are passionate about what you're doing now. For me, my... my 
you know, when I was young, my, my biggest goal was to travel the world and to live a life where I decide where to live, what to do, and especially to choose the people around me. And may, maybe uh, you can just put a one in the chat if you know the feeling, if you meet somebody for the first time and you feel like you know the person for 30 years. <laughs> you know the feeling when you meet somebody you have never met before, but you, your feelings are, I know this guy, this woman for 30 years. And I decided to, you know this, you are the, uh, the, the five people in your whatever, but I started to say, hey, I just want to surround myself with people I trust with people. I know that they are on the same mission like me. To meet people, to, to look for people who have the same, like the, the same, the, I don't know in English, the, they are on the same mission like you. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. Like when yeah. we met the first time, Dominique, it yeah. was amazing. We yeah. felt that we knew us for 10 Ever. lives. Exactly, before. exactly. Yeah, and, and that's the major thing. And for me, it doesn't matter what you are doing. If you are actually studying, if you are working in a, in a normal and job, if you are self-employed, it doesn't matter what you are doing. It, it's just important with which people you surround yourself. And it's important what kind of a community you choose and it will help you to thrive because the people around you, they, the most time they don't have to say a lot, but they help you to thrive because they yeah. support you. If yeah. you are passionate about something, you want to achieve something, the people around you will help you. Yeah. Not with money or whatever, just being a friend to you. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's one of the major things that's important if you want to thrive. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It's, it, this is such a key point and it really goes with this entire philosophy that this show Thrivecast is built on because we believe that every single human being has been created by God to thrive in their lives. And as part of that, we are also made to connect. We're also made to connect and being made to connect means exactly what you're saying that we need to connect with the right uh, community. We need to connect with the people around us that, that help us to move forward and to go that way and to go that direction. And so what is going on? Sorry. I think they're building a new house. About oh, that's funny. It, it almost sounded like, I don't know, like a coffee maker in the background or something <laughs> for a minute. But anyways, no, I, I love that. And, uh, and so what you do now, would you say for yourself, you have found your passion? Now, this year, I will leave Germany. Um, uh, I, I, could not, I cannot say a lot in here. Okay. But I give you a short thing. I have my own camping caravan. I have my own camping, uh, camping bus. And um, a lot of people told me, hey, if you are successful in business, you cannot travel with a camper van. You cannot do that. You have to drive like a Mercedes or Porsche, whatever. Don't let these, I don't hear these people because yes. it's my passion. And yeah. If you have such a passion, just do it. And in my case, this year I will travel Europe with my camper van. I will do my business online. And yes, we are in crazy times, but we choose how we think in these crazy times. And I say, okay, if, now everything is online let's if you can't defend it promote it yes if everything is going online i i jump into this yeah let's do everything online and use this opportunity and this is what i want to do this year um yeah to to not to sit at home and 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 uh, 
feel alone to go out and uh, look for new opportunities because every uh, every time we have in our life gives us new opportunities and we just have to be aware and that the same like if if you there are also some people of, of my account i see them in in here nice. um, it doesn't matter if you are um if you are christian um but there is something it's important that you believe in something if it's god amazing if it's mm -hmm. not it's also amazing it's important that you believe because mm -hmm. if you believe in the universe or in god both will send you opportunities mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can choose these opportunities mm -hmm. like i was i watched the video of hillsong four years ago that was my opportunity to found my to find my way back mm -hmm. and i took this decision back mm -hmm. and um, i'm sure that um, this decision four years ago helped me mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to, yeah, help me over the last four years to become um, the person I am today. Because yes. I'm sure that for me, I would never have, I, I would never had the energy to do that without um, being on the way with Jesus. Mm. I love that. And I'm, I'm so glad you underscored that again. I, I think it's essential as everyone is looking or everyone is what, wherever you are in your life, whatever journey you've had, wherever you are, but it is essential that you do find and dig a little deeper in that field that, that you see that there is actually something going on outside of yourself, that there is a savior there for you. That is that 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 you can look for that, and that you can embrace your journey to look for that, and uh, you will find it in different ways and experience it in different ways. And I love your story of how you shared that. So, so my last question for you today is: um, so, really quickly, super quick answer. What would you say are the top five things in your life that help you to thrive? I think the first thing is community to have mm -hmm. the right community around you um, personal development mm -hmm. there are different ways of personal development it's just important that you are trying to be better every day yeah one percent is enough then uh, you family yeah um, if it's your family like your brother your father but it's also like the people you decide that these people are your family. Yeah. Yeah. So family is important. Like belief, faith, it's important. Mm -hmm. And the last thing, and that's the most important thing of all to have a clear vision. Mm. You just can thrive. If you have a vision where you want to go, Mm -hmm. what kind of person you want to be mm -hmm. that's important and uh, yeah these are my five points i love it i love every five i love all five of them and i hope you guys wrote it down so that you have really something to ponder on and i mean really you have given us so many important nuggets to um to take with us and to think about i mean even just these last five things if you guys missed everything but you heard those last five things you've got plenty of things to think about do you have a clear vision in your life do you know who you want to be do you know what your passion is or your passions are and thank you for posting them in the chat for everyone to see um it you know do you do do you really know who your community is do you know who you want to be part of your family whether they're biological or you choose them to be your chosen family but all these things are so crucial if you want to think about moving through this year in a thriving manner and i love how you said if you if you can't fight it, embrace it. And we live in a in a world that is changing. So you can keep resisting change, or you can also sit there and say, "I'm just going to wait until everything goes back to where it was." It won't. So you can you can embrace that change that is there, and you can figure out how you can change your life now accordingly. 
and use the opportunity and you can have a vision to, to look at it as an opportunity or you can look at everything as an obstacle. That's your choice. And so ultimately, that is what we're asking as we kick off season two of Thrivecast. Guys, we all, every single one of you that's watching, whether you tuned in just recently or from the very beginning, every single one of you was created extraordinary. Every single one of you is important. Every single one of you is valuable. You all have gifts and skills. You are special and you have a calling in your life. And really, truly, today we're asking you to dig deeper where you are. Don't just settle for what there is. If you want to thrive, you've got to follow your passion and you cannot let a context dictate to you what that's gonna look like. And Sebastian is an amazing example of what he has accomplished as now one of the most successful entrepreneurs building an international team. And if you guys would like to, please follow Sebastian Levering House. Denard, you can maybe put the handle into the chat for Sebastian's account. That would be wonderful. Please connect with me if you'd like to as well, at Dominique Alive. Denard, you can post both of our handles. We're always happy to talk to you about whatever might be going on. If you're looking for something, if you're looking for more, we always love meeting people. So please connect with us. We love to do that. And um, Sebastian, it is my custom in just a minute, so I'll give you a heads up that you will have the last word of the day. And before I, before I let you have that, I want to make sure that you know that the link for the co-curricular credit for students will be posted on the Andrews account in the actual direct link. So you can click on that, fill out the form so you can get your co-curricular credit. And other than that, I want to give you a heads up from now on, we're going to be on this channel every Tuesday at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time, 8.30 a.m. Pacific Time, and wherever you are around the world, adjust to that schedule. We want to see you again next week. I'm really excited for all the guests to come, but really, Sebastian, you just kicked it off with a big boom. So thank you for that. I'm always inspired by what you say. So with that, I give you the last word of the day. Today, it's about to thrive. So I just can give you this advice. It, it doesn't matter if you are male, female, black, white, tall, small, it doesn't matter. If you have something you are passionate about, go for that, make your clear vision and uh, take these five things and uh, yeah, go for your goal and you will, you will have, you will live your best life. Wonderful. And the best thing I can give you for, yeah, at the end. It was perfect. Thank you so much, Sebastian. Thank you for everyone that listened to us, that watched the show. Please join us again next week. And the recording of today is going to be on the IGTV channel for Andrews University and on our YouTube channel. So feel free to share with others that need some inspiration. So love you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.